Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about working of Carnot engine. So in Carnot engine, Carnot engine undergoes a cyclic operation. So cyclic operation means four operations. Those are isothermal expansion that is from A to B and adiabatic expansion that is from B to C, isothermal compression that is from C to D, adiabatic compression that is from D to A, which are shown in PV diagram. Okay, so for isothermal expansion, we are taking that is from A to B. In isothermal expansion, see this diagram. For isothermal expansion, I am considering one diagram. So here we have one cylinder and a source. Source is at temperature T1 degree Kelvin and cylinder consists of a working substance working substance in the sense gas perfect gas okay so consider one gram mole of an ideal gas enclosed in a cylinder fitted with a mobile piston and this cylinder is placed over the source then the gas takes an amount of heat that is q1 and ex expansion is allowed to take place from a to b okay so here the pressure of the gas is p1 volume of the gas is v1 and temperature of the gas is t1 which is at point a so initial state of the gas can be considered as a and here from a to b isothermal expansion takes place so here here we have pressure p1 volume v1 at point b pressure p2 volume v2 means here a uh, perfect gas or working substance takes an amount of heat q1 from the source and it allowed to expand slowly from point a to point b so the here the final state of the gas is b and pressure decreases to p2 volume increases to v2 okay so the curve a b shows isothermal expansion and the um, work done in isothermal expansion can be written as q1 equal to w1 equal to r t1 log v2 by v1 this is the work done in isothermal expansion here already we know that carnot engine is a heat engine that converts heat into work so q1 is equal to w1 okay q1 is equal to w1 and that is equal to here r is a constant and t1 is the initial temperature of the gas log v2 by v1 this is the isothermal expansion that is from a to b and q1 equal to w1 so for adiabatic expansion i am taking one diagram uh, so here source is replaced by the insulating stand here cylinder is placed over the insulating strand then expansion is allowed to take place from point b to point c so here uh, at point p we have already know that the pressure p2 volume v2 after expansion it it goes from point b to point c and pressure is p3 volume is v3 pressure is decreases volume increases and temperature falls to t2 remember here from uh, in isothermal expansion temperature is t1 in adiabatic expansion temperature falls to t2 so due to decrease of pressure and temperature uh, this engine cannot do any further expansion so it must be brought back to isothermal compression that is from c to d and adiabatic compression from that is from d to a means it must be brought back to its original state a so it following isothermal compression and adiabatic compression that is from c to d and d to a okay so in adiabatic 
expansion that is from b to c work done is equal to w2 equal to r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 here temperature falls from t1 to t2 so we are writing here t1 minus t2 this is a constant value okay so here cylinder is removed from the insulating stand and placed over the sink sink is at temperature t2 degree kelvin so here isothermal compression that is c2d that is from c2d takes place okay so so here gas expand uh, sorry gas compressed that is from c2d and quantity of heat rejected to the sink is q2 means here from point c to d isothermal compression takes place and the final state d is reached which is at pressure p4 volume v4 and heat can be considered as quantity of heat rejected to the sink q2 equal to that is equal to work done w3 q2 equal to w3 3 equal to minus R T2 log V3 by V4. This is the isothermal compression. Means the curve CD shows isothermal compression. Next you know, adiabatic compression. Here the cylinder is placed over the again in insulating stand. Then the gas in cylinder undergoes a very slow adiabatic compression that is from d to a means it reaches from d to a it reaches its original state that is a point a so work done in adiabatic compression that is from d to a can be written as w4 equal to minus r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 this is the total work done during adiabatic compression and in diagram we have a dash b dash c dash d dash these are the curves which are drawn from point a we are drawing one dotted line that is that that can be considered as a dash and po from point b we are having b dash from point c we are having c dash and from point d d dash these are the uh, dotted lines uh, which which shows the initial and final points and uh, volumes can be considered as v1 v2 v3 v4 from initial point uh, we are having volume v1 next uh, at point b we are having volume v2 at point 3 we are having volume v3 at point 4 we are having at point d we are having volume v4 okay the network done by the gas is given by w equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 plus w4 by adding these work done values we get w equal to w1 means we know that r t1 log v2 by v1 plus w2 r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 this is the w2 value and w3 minus r t2 log v3 by v4 and w4 value minus r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 so after substituting these four values we have here r plus r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 and minus r by gamma minus 1 into t1 my t1 minus t2 these both values gets cancelled then remaining value is w equal to r t1 log v2 by v1 minus r t2 log v3 by v4 this is the total work done in Carnot engine using the relation between temperature and volume at the point B and C that are lie on the same adiabatic curve so simply we are considering here the relation between temperature and volume that is from point B to C remember so that is the relation T into V power gamma minus 1 equal to constant. Okay, hence we are considering from point B to C so that from point B temperature is T1 into volume is V2. So volume can be considered as 
P2 at point B we are having volume V2 so I am writing here volume V2 power gamma minus 1 that is equal to uh, let us consider that is from the, this is from point C so at point C temperature is T2 and volume is V3 so I am writing here volume V3 that is power gamma minus 1 consider this as a small a equation similarly for point d and d, d and a similarly for point d and a we can write t2 into v4 power gamma minus 1 equal to t1 into v1 power gamma minus 1 here at point d temperature is t2 volume v4 okay and at point a temperature is t1 volume v1 so i am writing here like this equation okay this is the equation b from equation a from above equation we can write i am taking only t1 this value is equal to from this side so t1 by t2 equal to v3 by v2 v3 by v2 power gamma minus 1 so similarly Similarly, from equation B, we can write T1 by T2 equal to V4 by, so V4 by V1 power gamma minus 1. Okay. By equating these two, means here we are having T1 by T2 and T1 by T2. So, I am equating this equation, we get V3 by V2 power gamma minus 1 equal to V4 by V1 power gamma minus 1 okay power gets cancelled then we get v3 by v3 by v2 equal to v4 by v1 and v3 by v4 equal to v2 by v1 okay v3 by v4 can be written as v2 by v1 okay we know that w equation w equal to rt1 log v2 by v1 minus rt2 log here I am substituting in the place of V3 by V4, substituting V2 by V1. So here I am writing V2 by V1 again. Then final work done equation in Carnot engine can be written as W equal to R log V2 by V1. So in both terms we have R into log V2 by V1. Here R into log V2 by V1. So this value take it as common then we get r log v2 by v1 into t1 minus t2 efficiency of Carnot engine it is defined as the ratio between total work done in one cycle to the heat supplied for one cycle and it is denoted with the letter eta so therefore eta can be written as eta equal to work done in one cycle already we got work done in one cycle by heat supplied by one cycle so eta equal to work done in one cycle so we have r log v2 by v1 into t1 minus t2 by heat supplied by one cycle so i am taking here isothermal expansion that is r t1 log v2 by v1 so here rr gets cancelled log v2 by v1 gets cancelled we have eta equal to t1 minus t2 by t1 or this can also be written as eta equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 so this is in terms of temperature means efficiency in Carnot engine in terms of temperature is eta equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 so I am writing here in terms of heat so that equation is eta equal to q1 minus q2 by q1 or else we can write eta equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 in terms of heat this is the efficiency okay